and dear students in previous lecture we have discussed about evolution in today's lecture we will discuss uh, different evidences which indicate that uh, which indicate about the process of evolution Uh, evidence uh, for evolution comes from different areas of biology such as anatomy, molecular biology, biogeography, fossils and their direct observations. Anatomy means species share some uh, similar physical features because the feature was present in common ancestor that is indicated in homologous structure. Molecular biology as DNA and genetic code they have same and they, refer, they which reflect the uh, shared ancestry of life. Biogeography, geographical distribution or global distribution of organisms um, and the uh, unique isle, uh, features uh, which are specifically associated to that uh, geography or that island species also reflects the evolution and geographic, uh, geological changes. Fossil documents, the existence of non-extinct past species that are related to present day species. Uh, so these are the uh, different types of uh, biology uh, where you can see the different ev evidences for the evolution, ev uh, evolution and now we will discuss all these one by one. Uh, first of all, we will discuss uh, types of evidences of evolution through anatomy and embryology. Um, now we will discuss the evidence of evolution through anatomy and embryology. Darwin thought of evolution as descent with modification, which is a process in which species change and give rise to new species over many generations. And he proposed that evolutionary history of life forms a branching tree with many levels. Here you can see in uh, our tree model and uh, which indicate that closely related group of species have more recent common ancestors while the group which are far away they uh, share less features. We can use this idea to work backward and figure out how organisms are related based on their shared features. In uh, anatomy and embryology, first of all, we will try to discuss about the homologous features. If two or more species share a unique physical feature such as complex bone structure or body plane, plan, they may have common inherited uh, inheritance from the common ancestors. Physical features shared due to evolutionary history are known as the homologous. To give one classical example, you can see the four limbs of human, dog, bird and whale in this figure. That uh, they, uh, they may look pretty different from the outside because of the adapted to their different functions in the environment. However, if you see their uh, bone structures, they look like very similar. So this type of uh, features are known as the homologous features and they indicate the uh, common ancestry. Some homologous structures can be seen only in embryos. For instance, all vertebrate embryos including humans have gill slits and rates during the early development. As you can see in this figure, these are the gill slits which are present at the embryological stage. So, development pattern of these species become more different later on. Now, analogous features. Some physical uh, similarities are analogous. They evolved independently in different organisms because the organisms lived in similar environment or experienced similar selective pressure. This process uh, is called convergent evolution or analogous uh, evolution. For example, two distinctly related species that live in Arctic Ocean are the Arctic fox and uh, Petroming a bird both undergoes seasonal changes of color from dark to snowy white. Here you can see that this is a bird and this is the Antarctic fox. They and they show change in their uh, color due to seasonal variation. This shared uh, feature does not reflect common ancestry. And though change in color does not share any, um, it does not reflect any common ancestry, the, but this all is because of uh, selective pressure which both the species for, uh, face. 
This is genetically determined ability to switch to light coloration in winter, which helped both fox and bird to survive and reproduce in places with snowy winter and sharp-eyed predators.